know what's cool? Um, because when I've done these Friend Fridays, normally people who do who do interviews are celebrities, yes, are they of right? Yeah. And in my Friend Fridays, I've done celebrities who are friends, but I've also done just real people, real people, people I know, people. a neighbor. Well, you're you're a celebrity, too. <laughs> right. um, but you know. Pe- and what's funny is when they tell me about them, <laughs> them getting recognized on the street, and they're just my neighbor, right. or there's somebody I know right. from the coffee shop, <laughs> right. you know, right. and and it's really amazing to watch somebody who's not in show business. Yeah. Have that kind of like, yeah. you know what I mean? Everybody totally. wants to be a star. Everybody wants to be a star. And that's kind of why I think, you know, the internet's so exciting. Because anybody can kind of be a star. Even if you have 20 people watching, you get, you that's get 20 right. fans that care and that comment. And you exactly. get that, you get that, uh, rec- I think that's why it's so popular. And people are doing it. They feel good. And it has, like you said, it's, it's sort of created a, a, a level playing field. And, and music is the same way. Yes. There's now... It's affordable for someone to make a record yes. if they have a, a good program and a yes. couple of good mics. That's and it's the same way with this. I mean, it's cutting out the middleman, you know, which obviously the industry can have a voice. doesn't love. But what do you want? What do I want today? It changes all the time. I mean, well, I, obviously, I want to continue doing internet video just because it is different than anything else. And doing it is wonderful. And being able to have an idea and then be like, let's put it, it up, let's just do it right and now. And not have to. Okay, well, okay. Of course. When you were doing the Mad TV thing, yes. was it very different than to go under a thing where there were 15 people looking yeah. at it and judging it and now you have to rewrite Not this? Really and fair. and all of a sudden, all the, I mean, it's still fun, but the freedom is very different. It's very different. It was very, yeah, there's a lot of people that, you know, there's 20 people that have For very every to say. tiny decision. Yes. I mean, I we were lucky because actually we made a video in our apartment and shot one and I sent it to the producers and I was like, hey, and they actually put it on. So that was cool. We got, I got to do something that was in the vein of what I do. It was what I did. But otherwise, the other sketches, yeah, it, it was it was hard to sort of be like, hey, let's do this or that, because it, it just doesn't work that way. And yet, you're working was, with extraordinarily creative people. Oh, but it was wonderful. I'm right. still really good friends with a couple of them, and they, you know, do video, or Jordan and the Obama sketches is from Mad TV. He's wonderful, and I'm still good friends with Nicole Randall Johnson. And they love the idea of being able, just like Jenna Elfman, you know, she's a big star, but she's like, oh, I just want to play. I you would don't love get to, to do. play. Let's Can we do some characters? Do we, I would love to. I would love that. So when I say, "What do you want?" Oh yeah, but yeah, I mean, some you know. T- I was thinking about that today, even. I was like, oh, you know, it'd be so fun because when you do these videos, you know, we edit and we shoot them, and right. you're doing all these characters, and it's very quick. It's like, okay, I'll be Gabby, we're, uh, quick, and then we're gonna edit, and then we're gonna do this. It would be fun to have a crew. Have, have, yeah, well, to, <laughs> well, certainly. I mean, I would love to have a whole crew and be able, but it would be fun to actually just play a part. Like do a mo- like right. have a part that you could just sit with. Right. You don't have to worry about editing. She really get into a part Absolutely. and just like just inhabit that part. Not have to worry about every other little thing. Or I'm always playing different characters all the time. It would be fantastic to so play. So when you're a doing part, you know? when you're doing it when you're doing this stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And you know that like when you're doing Gabby or something that's easy for you to improvise with but are you able to then leave or do you still have a part of your mind saying, Okay, there's sun right now, oh there's a plane going over, oh, wait, yeah. we have to stop. Do That's you, how I work. Do you leave yeah. the producer's hat, or and do you have anybody around you that says, okay, now you just get to be an actor? Well, I work with my brother, my boyfriend. The three of us all work together, but it's still, it's very clever. I like to see the takes. I'm like, no, no, we have to change this. It's just the way I work on these sketches is, you know, you can never just, you just have to be able to be present, be doing it, but also be conscious of everything else. That's what I'm saying. How Which fun to go you, into a set and right. just like, and just be, just an be it. Oh, you think it's, great. you think, That'd yeah, be fun. it's hard That's to do That's what I want too. today. <laughs> what, it's be the character? After you've done what you're doing, yeah. and when you do have a director's mind, yeah, it is hard because then you're like, "That's wrong." Wait, 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 <laughs> I look better from the left. Why are you shooting me from over there? I look better from here. Well, that's um, what's good about comedy. You, know, you can never worry about how you look. No, it's no, got to no. be like, even if you look bad, it's good. But but leaving the idea of here's the great thing: when you're creating your own thing, mm-hmm. and you know, a you can edit it later, mm-hmm. so yes, you can certainly. get the best comedy, the best certainly. timing, the whatever. But. When you are working solely as an actor, yep, and can. you rehearse it and you plan it and stuff like that, and then you get with the others, they're not saying it like you wanted them to say. Very true. <laughs> you know, totally. It's a I, very different thing when I you agree. have your own sort of autonomous project. Well, I want that too. That was what I was going to say because I, I always wanted that. It was something I was just been thinking about recently. But uh, yeah, I want to direct a movie someday. You will. I'm you going so will. to. Yeah, right. And I, <laughs> no, I want totally. totally. That was sort of the goal when I, I came think out that's here. Is to make yeah. is to direct a movie. And, you know, I'd love to act. I'd love to do comedy. I'd love to make a movie where it was a, dramatic, a real part where I could just sort of forget everything and be a part of it. And even if it... Is it possible, it, you know... I want to do it all. Well, you will. <laughs> you totally will. But the thing is, too, I think with good comedy... Yeah. 
there's there's comedy that that can be just entertainment, silly, base. But then there's and then there's comedy that means something that's yeah. still silly and that means something. And then there's comedy, you know, that that can move us as well. My favorite thing is to create something that disarms the audience, yeah. so they're free and they're comfortable and they're vulnerable, and yeah. then you can go ooh and make them think or make them feel something. And it's so clear that the way that you think when you're even creating these. Silly sketches, but they totally. have something behind them. There's a point. There's I'm a trying point. to make a point. <laughs> Every a time point. I'm trying to, however. <laughs> and you can tell, you can tell that it's important. Well, it, it has to be more than just entertainment, in my mind. I mean, well, entertainment I don't at its base and is entertainment. Is entertainment. But for, for me, it's, it's it's exciting to do something that there's a thought behind it, or I'm trying to make a point. And I guess. For an artist, a goal is, on a base level, it's entertaining for everyone to enjoy. Sure. But the, the richer and deeper the audience member is, the more they have to find it. We grew up with my dad's documentary filmmaker and art. Oh, really? And he always had us making, I mean, make, watching you movies. You started doing this. You know, yeah, yeah. so we were just around it. And um, he's a photographer, too. Yeah, that was sort of his, Documentary filmmaking is what he did not to make a living. That was just his passion. It took him 10 years to make a movie. Otherwise, he was... What, he did wedding photography, and my brother and I would go to all these weddings. I've been to right, hundreds right, and hundreds right. of weddings because we hold the light poles. Wow! Weddings. But wow. his passion was documentary film. And I was, did you start so, to bed? Did you really like divorce? I'll give it six. Yeah, months. I know. That's why weddings. I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> anyway. But, any, but anyway, so we grew up around, and he would always just have us watch movies. I mean, just especially, especially movies from the 70s and 80s, 50s, 60s, all these movies. So for me, what was always exciting, what he'd always point out. And, is you know the point what he'd always make us talk about it he'd be like what what did you think what was the thought you know what what were they trying to say there so i think that's it was ingrained good parenting. in that's us good parenting. that there has to be a point yeah. even if there wasn't one we were we were You'll contemplating talking about the point of the movie a friend of mine once said that the goal in art yeah. should be to comfort the disturbed mm. and disturb the comfortable. Yeah, that's great. Isn't that's that good? Really good? It's a good. It's a it. good mantra when you're that's creating really a project. Yeah. To think, is this too easy? Am I pushing it hey. enough? Am I pushing it too much? Am I, am I being selfish because it's just what I want? How do you best reach it? There's sure. so many great questions. And I mean, it's not. I could be pushing it a lot further. I sometimes I'm like, Ugh, I'm just, you know, you're just trying to make people happy or make a video like, oh, they like. You can do both. You can do both. Yeah, totally. And not always <laughs> at the same time. No. George Clooney makes right. silly movies, sure. so he can make, make Syriana sure. and sure. Good Night, exactly. Good Luck, and sure. you know you don't can't always you can't, do it all. You can't do it all. Yeah, so you what, just gotta always try and you know think about what you want to do and not try and always think about about how popular it's gonna be. Exactly. And yet somehow you've managed to achieve both. What does your dad think of this? <laughs> oh, he's so happy. He loves it. It's so it's so fun. And his like friends are you know my mom and dad they're friends are into the internet so they'll see the video it's fun it, it, it's just a, it's great you know they get to stay right back in New York so uh, you know they just get to see us and my brother wow. it's just it's great Lisa Donovan Lisa Nova for innovation that's what you are darling she's innovation um, you are you are you're 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 fresh and you're new and you do great things and I'm a big fan and I'm, this I'm happy for you. Fun, thank you. Really, you know, I, I, it makes me, when you see a gifted, talented person do something that they love and actually transform something or make a difference, it makes me so happy. It makes me, you know, because when we started doing this, all of us who are in the show business, show when we business. started doing this, it was because we wanted to put yeah. on a show. Yeah. And then it becomes yeah. about financing and it becomes about, uh, will somebody see it? Will somebody like it? Will somebody yeah. buy it? And it's good to see it when somebody remembers why they do it. Right. Oh, it's not like you're 50 years old. <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you why we're here at the park. It's like you're having cheerleading practice, right? I have to go, guys. To go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you for doing this. Oh, thank you so much for having me. This it's, is look, fun. it's supposed to be like under 10 minutes. It's 20. We're going to have to have oh, a two-parter. Blah, blah, blah. We two-parter. Thank you. Thank you. Aww. See you guys. Bye.